Supreme Week 13. Can't believe it's already here. What's going on guys? It's your boy Thomas and I'm back with another drop list review video on my way to 500 subscribers. So if you could please a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated if you enjoy these videos and only if. Let's get into it. So I'm actually really excited about this week. First on the list, we have Supreme Burberry Round 2 going up top with the hats. I really, really hope I can cop the Supreme bucket hat. I know it's a little, little absurd, little crazy, but I think last week with Stone Island, I was unfortunately unable to get the reactive cap and I was able to get the bucket hat. So I'm kind of like, you know, maybe bucket hat season is upon us, but Nevertheless, if you are going for any kind of resale item to make some extra dough, I think the Burberry caps are the best item on this week's uh, drop list. For sure, the traditional tan check pattern is the best, followed shortly by pink, I think. And then if you want a, like a sleeper personal item, the denim hat would be a solid choice if you just wanted something to stand out personal piece, something that might have a little extra chance to not get bought out immediately by everyone, hoping the bots are going to be held back, but I'm a little worried. I don't know why. I just have that feeling that they're going to sell out instantly, but we'll see. And then the, the black Burberry, you know, Crusher, it's not for me, not a fan, but nevertheless, it could still be a pretty solid item to cop. Next up, we have the Spiderweb Doc Martens. Now, I've never worn Doc Martens in my life. I've seen so many Supreme Doc Martens and these for some reason are just doing something for me. I don't know what it is, but like the Spider-Mans in the middle are hilarious. Like I find it rare to see something like this that actually looks good, you know, with the spider web. Like I feel like it's so easy to go to Halloweeny, if that makes sense. Halloweeny. But these are pretty unique. These are pretty cool. Looks like stitched on the spiderweb pattern, so it's not going to be some bullshit like printed on there. It's actually stitched into the shoes, and it's definitely a statement piece. It's not something you can just wear every single day, and people aren't going to be like, well, this dude has spiderwebs on his feet. That's very normal. No, nope, it's something that is going to stand out a little bit, but I think the blacks would be great for, for October you know getting the season and then i really just for some reason love the reds because it looks like spider-man but it doesn't have the blue you know spider-man colors always red and blue i find that red and blue is very difficult to pull off together because they clash so heavily and then the white is just that's the chaos choice that is the i don't give a fuck i am level 70 in the fashion tree personally for me my fashion is stuck in 2017 and i've been trying to to get out of that but it's been tough guys i'm an old boomer in the streetwear industry and then going to the list as a whole we have the roy de carva drop and i think this is a really great thing that supreme is doing because all of the profits are going to benefit this center for research in black culture in harlem and i will just say like black culture gets appropriated a ton in streetwear sneakers and hip-hop culture obviously it's a big problem so just respect this collaboration even if it's not for you um i'm not personally going to be getting it or anything like that but i have a lot of respect for it and think it's a pretty cool looking collection overall like it's very simple it has his photography with his name on the back so i'm sure for people that this is for will really really appreciate it um, and I think that knowing that their money is going to a good cause is like the, the best of both worlds because you get to have an item that represents something that you appreciate and are a fan of and also have some, you know, charity in mind because your money is going not just to the pocketbook of a venture capitalist company, but hopefully to a center that uses the money in a way that benefits uh, the black community. So that's awesome. Love that. This piece is dropping too, and it's super trippy, honestly. I wish it wasn't so expensive. The projected retail prices, and these are projected, 
because Supreme Drops and Drops by J don't always know 100%. I find it's always safe to err on the side of caution. Like last week, stuff from Stone Island that I, you know, gave out during that video was, you know, a little incorrect. Some of it was corrected later. I did go into the comments and change that, but not everyone sees that, obviously. So this could be like 500 bucks you never know but hopefully it stays 430 because man i really hope someone that thinks this looks dope as much as i do is able to get it because man that is such a freaking fit right there man i love it i would definitely get the multicolor crazy guy because that is just so cool but got some basketball shorts i find that for me like i'm a 30 inch waist typically that's like a size small but if you're ever wondering about sizing, always look on reddit.com slash supreme or r slash supreme clothing. A lot of people there will be happy to help. Hopefully, you might have some assholes, but you know, that's, a, that's everywhere you go online. There's always some assholes, but make sure you just order the size that you, that fits you. Supreme belt too. You know, the box logo belts. These, you know, come out typically once a year. Got the olive color that's been rocking with the supreme accessories from hanes coming through right there and then the black and the red you know pretty standard classic piece you know everyone loves the supreme logo these hats are pretty cool they look like some kind of lightweight mesh running hats i do really like this tan and the or this cream and the white with the red piping so separating them and also the olive and the red is kind of nice too but i think mostly everyone's gonna be talking about burberry first roy de carva and um doc martens apologize to roy de carva if that is not how i pronounce it but i think that's how it is and then a couple other pieces we got some football jerseys some all over i think these were projected for last week and didn't come out so uh, apologies if anyone thought those were coming out but you know Script tees are pretty, you know, pretty nonchalant. Those will probably sit on the site. And we got some, I don't fully know what that is, what it says, but some, some text right there. Windbreaker is always classic, always good to go with. And that's pretty much it, guys. What is your favorite item from this week? I'm gonna be going for Burberry. Uh, I said Burberry bucket at the beginning, but maybe the hat is what I wanna do. I just have so many damn hats. And I have like no bucket hats anymore. So I'm thinking about bringing the bucket back. Might have to do it. And if anyone has watched this far, comment below that you've watched this far and I'll send you two Supreme box logo stickers. Maybe you think that's stupid, but maybe you think that's cool. So if that is you, comment below. Get with me on Twitter and follow me at Tomasu VT. Talk about bullshit, NFTs, crypto, Supreme, sneakerheads, just whatever, man. It's my own social media. It's not that interesting, but hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for now. Peace.